With the assistance of Western weapons, Ukraine believes to retake Kherson by September. Kherson was occupied by the Russian army on 3rd March, the first major Ukrainian city captured by Russian forces since 24th February. Ukrainian military officials have claimed a turning point in the battle to retake the southern region of Kherson, saying they will use Western weapons to liberate by September the first major city captured by Russian forces. So Yi Khan, an aide to the administrative head of the Kherson region, said in an interview with Ukrainian television on Sunday that we can say that a turning we can say that a turning point has occurred on the battlefield. We are switching from defensive to counter-offensive actions. President Volodymyr Zelensky endorsed claims of a successful counter-offensive during his national address on Saturday, saying Ukrainian forces were moving step by step into the city. Ukrainian officials believe that Russian troops were able to take the city in part because Ukrainian security service agents failed to blow up the Antonovsky Bridge that crosses the Dnipro River, allowing troops to enter the city. However, Russian military officials give a different story. Kirin Stremusov, deputy head of the Russian installed regional authority in Kherson, claimed that there won't be a counteroffensive. All this is fantasy. Despite Russian denials, the British Defense Ministry confirmed Moscow moved to reinforce its defensive positions across the occupied areas in southern Ukraine in a likely a response to anticipated Ukrainian offensives. Given the pressures on Russian manpower, the reinforcement of the south whilst the fight for the Donbass continues likely indicates the seriousness with which Russian commanders view the threat, the ministry said in a report on 17th July. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.